Hello everyone, welcome back to Trophy Life Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of a recent dinner I had at the Five Sales restaurant located on the R level of Canada Place. That's where um, the Pan Pacific Hotel is located and the old um, the cruise ship terminal and the old convention center. What I didn't do is I did not take a picture of their tremendous view and that's one of the attractions of this restaurant. Beautiful, beautiful view of um, the Canada Place, the ocean, the terminal, and the water. Um, so anyways, we started with the um, um, amuse-bouche that um, they gave to us complimentary. So this is on the right is the um, a squash soup, and on the left was a uh, tartare, a tuna tartare. So nice start and nice touch to start off the evening. Um, service was very friendly. It wasn't uppity. It was, um, I think, pretty decent. Um, good, um, friendly, um, and the, I guess the main attraction is the, the view. If you would like to get a table by the window, you probably should go early or really late. It's kind of by the luck of the draw when you get it, and um, I think you would have a better opportunity if you're a table of two or table of three to get a table, um, a window seat. So here's the first of the appetizers. We had four people in our party, so I had a lot of pictures of different um, food. Um, this was chosen my friend, by my friend. This is the um, scallops, which is caramelized endive, pink apple puree, green apple, and butter crumble for $32. Nice presentation. Good quality. Uh, I didn't hear any complaints about this. Um, but not inexpensive as a $32 for an appetizer. Next appetizer is the tartare, which is beef tenderloin, torched cucumber, oyster mayo, watercress, nori tempura crostinis for $32. Nice presentation, but if you look at my video on the Alouette Bistro, which I will have at the end of this video, I thought that um, table side uh, tartare was a better uh, presentation and um, the, the taste was better. Uh, but still pretty good, um, nice, uh, nice appetizer. Next appetizer is the um, what I had, which is the snails, which is um, sweet bread and burgundy snails, vol vent uh, cauliflower proof puree and truffle juice for $32. Although it's kind of um, small in terms of the package, it, the sweetbreads were exceptional. I really like that. And the escargot was done quite well also. So all the food, um, the presentation was quite nice and all the quality was pretty decent. It was okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's um, extremely uh, value, but it's, it's not overvalued either. It's not cheap any of these dishes so again at $32 for an appetizer is not um, inexpensive and the last of the appetizers was the prawns um, this is tortellini butternut squash coriander ginger emulsion for $34 again nice meal a good quality of food not inexpensive at $34 um, not a huge portion but um, nice design and uh, not many complaints about the quality of the food with the main course, we you can choose some sides. We chose the truffle, um, the truffles, which is the uh, palm puree truffle de la and fresh truffles. Um, it's kind of like a mash. I don't I've forgot to take a picture of that. But this is the other um, side that we had, which is lentils, lentil ragu balsamic sofrito for sixteen dollars. It's kind of like um, beans and sweet beans, so it's kind of nice with the a blander meal. Um, so. That was a nice touch. I didn't mind this at all. This is the first of the mains. This is sable fish, miso marinated sable fish, West Coast oysters, root vegetable pave wasabi berry blanc at $52. Um, good portion. Um, again, pretty decent. Um, it wasn't it wasn't bad, it wasn't spectacular, it was okay. Um, for $52. A little pricey, but um, good portion. I will mention that uh, we did bring in a bottle of wine. Their corkage is a little bit higher than most places. It's $65, um, but maybe it's a high-end restaurant. That's why it's so high. This is the meal that I enjoyed, the main that I enjoyed. It's the beef. So it's beef tenderloin, braised oxtail, onion, subis, potato fondant, and bistou for $68. So again, nothing wrong with the meal. Pretty decent, a um, little pricey, I think. Um, not a lot of food on the plate, but nice presentation next this is something that my friend had they had the duck which is duck breast duck leg 
uh, croquette, bubble, and squeak braised turnips, coriander, and pork juice for $56. Um, he really enjoyed this. Uh, it looked like it was really well um, done in terms of um, the cooking. It was medium rare. It looked really tender. Um, so no complaints about this. Again, looks beautiful. Uh, good presentation. Um, not inexpensive, I would say, but not overpriced either. It's kind of fair value. Now on to dessert. This is the souffle. So this is caramel. So it's, it's citrus souffle, liquid caramel, Grand Marnier, a vanilla ice cream you need 20 to 25 minutes for preparation $18 I think it's a pretty good deal because it's a real souffle instead of uh, most places souffle cakes so this is what it looks like they'll cut it and you'll see in the next photo they cut it open but on the left hand side is the caramel on the right hand side is the ice cream here's what it looked like after they cut open the middle and pour in the caramel uh, at the table and uh, I really enjoyed this. This um, there are very few places in Vancouver that make a um, real souffle, and so that was it was really right and well done. This is the other dessert we had, which is very neat. It's apple, so it's sablon, sable, breton, vanilla mousse, a soft caramel, apple and passion fruit compote. So like a cake inside. I should have cut it open to take a picture. Kind of a nice touch. Um, very playful. Um, we ended the night with um, some chocolates um, on the house. So all in all, very good experience. I would say um, if not for the view, I think it's a little overpriced, but with the view included and the nice presentation of food, I think it's a fair, reasonable price. It is a pretty expensive place. Um, it's not a place that you go to every day. Um, it's a nice special occasion uh, place, particularly you know, for a uh, romantic night, couple of two, um, you'll spend a couple of hours or four hours there for a nice meal. Um, food is decent. The quality is pretty good. Um, service is okay. Um, so I think it's f fair value. I wouldn't say I, I would uh, f strongly recommend, but I wouldn't um, not recommend it either. So good meal, um, pretty decent value, and one of these specialty restaurants that you want to go to on a special occasion for a nice view and some uh, pretty decent food. Until next time, happy eating.